Just like humans, gauges can handle only so much pressure. And when the pressure gets to be too much, well, they stop working. And when you go over the rated pressure of a gauge, you can damage it permanently. Hi, it's Paul again. Overpressurization can occur when the manifold hoses are connected to a system in reverse, or when high side system pressure is suddenly released to the low side through the manifold. This can also happen if you're using a manifold to read nitrogen test pressures, or when the pressures are reversed in a heat pump. For example, here's a compound gauge with a working pressure of 120 PSI, which is the highest measurable pressure. When the needle goes beyond 120 PSI into the retard zone, the actual pressure is unknown. If the pressure rises higher than 350 PSI, the gauge is likely to be damaged. When a gauge is overpressurized, the Bordon tube becomes damaged when it goes outside the working pressure of the gauge, as demonstrated by this bubble in the tube. If the needle on your gauge doesn't return to zero when you remove the pressure, your gauge may be overpressurized. To check, remove the lens or access cover, place a standard screwdriver in the calibration screw, and try to calibrate by turning the screw. If the needle stays in positive pressure at atmosphere and will not zero, the gauge may have been overpressurized. To prevent overpressurization, make sure you use gauges that are rated for the refrigerant you're working with. And do not use a manifold for pressures above the maximum gauge reading. That's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.